welcome to another episode of my life experiences for those of you who are new to this podcast this is a place where i share life experiences just to encourage each other with the experiences that we are going through and today i've got a very important guest a high profile one uh she's a well accomplished woman young woman very ambitious very focused very intelligent and some of you maybe might might have seen her um this last month i think you participated in the attended the COP26 meeting yes. and she was also interviewed by the BBC talking about climate change issues mm-hmm. yeah so she really inspires me this young lady and i'm sure that today you'll be inspired as well be f- um be prepared to receive the message that she has for us welcome Jigondi Ngawa to this podcast and Thank introduce you yourself much. tell us more about yourself your career where you've come from how you've come to be the woman that you are today Thank you very much Wesi and I, it's a pleasure and an honor to be featured on your channel I am always watching it getting inspired when you send the weekly or sometimes in every two weeks I am always excited to learn a thing or two about life So I am Chikondinkawa I'm the first born in my family and um we were raised in uh, pretty much a very strict christian home mm-hmm. uh we are adventists mm-hmm. and um growing up you know things it was quite clear that you need to go to school mm-hmm. finish school uh, get your phd if that comes to that and then proceed with life so that was my life trajectory mm-hmm. i had planned that by age 25 i should have a phd mm-hmm. So life happened. I finished my secondary school, then I went to university, finished and I was able to get into also a postgraduate program. The reason I'm sharing all this is I had it written out. It's very important that when you are starting and when you have a goal that this is where I want to go, write it down. and every time they are distractions you remind yourself that there is a goal that i am supposed to attain so when i finished my um my postgraduate i was also linked to to uh, to a, my first job where i started working and for me i had to start working because i had to support my mother mm-hmm. we were in a situation where if i don't work then it was a struggle mm-hmm. um we we had to it was a time where you know sometimes we'd have no food yeah and we i had to not sit at all i had to work mm-hmm. to support my mother mm-hmm. so we we managed to go through that phase and now we talk about it as history yes yes but it was not easy going through that mm-hmm. but in my mind i had it that you know though we are going through this time mm-hmm. though we are going through this you know process where mm-hmm. my friends are busy enjoying their lives and i have to focus on taking care of my mother mm-hmm. and my siblings mm-hmm. we will be fine yeah, yeah. so uh we managed to, i managed to finish my postgrad and i was at work yeah. being at work at such a young age also mm-hmm. came with its own difficulties yes, yes, yes. um i had to gain experience i had to also make sure i am professional in my delivery of, of my assignments and in all this i had to remember who i am mm-hmm. that's a very important thing who mm-hmm. am i mm-hmm. i am a child of god mm-hmm. and every time i would face obstacles i would comfort myself by reading scripture mm-hmm. listening or reading the story of joseph yes, yes the story of joseph i remember there was a time i came back from work i was crying mm-hmm. and it was such a a moment where I, i would like why am i going through this i'm too young to go through this yes 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 but i remember what joseph went through and mm-hmm. i was a like, god you were with joseph when he was in potiphar's house mm-hmm. when he went through the prison mm-hmm. and eventually he was elevated to that position mm-hmm. god the way you showed up for joseph mm-hmm. show up for me mm-hmm. so i continuously had to go on and having faith uh being spiritual is mm. very important mm. in a world where you 
you have a lot of tasks competing for your attention yes, yes, yes. as a young woman mm -hmm. and then you also have two children you have a husband later mm -hmm. so they all are factors that pull you left right and center yes and you really need to be focused yes yes so it's not easy mm -hmm. everyone's life story is different yes. i'm just sharing like just a cup of mm -hmm. things that uh, I went through. Mm -hmm. But for me, what worked is having a clear vision that mm -hmm. I still have up to date. Mm -hmm. um, some things that I say uh, would happen by certain ages haven't happened, mm -hmm. but they will happen in my yes. life. Yes, yes, I'll yes. have that time and yes. I'll still do it. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you ha if you set yourself mm -hmm. goals for maybe by 30 or by 40 I do this mm -hmm. and it doesn't happen yeah. you are still alive yes keep pursuing those goals yes. they yes. will happen at yeah. some point yeah uh, okay so, so you want, um, you've shared with us that um, you had this plan set out uh, written down okay mm -hmm. because it's meant to remind you that these are the plans that I have mm -hmm. yeah so you've also um, studied a lot mm -hmm. So as a, a young woman, what can you say maybe to the girls? Because you know sometimes there are these talks about how if you are a lady and you start, you are you are well studied, you cannot find a husband. You know in Malawi, um, or maybe the African culture, okay, mm -hmm. saying that okay you not get married, uh, you should not uh, advance in your career, things like those. How can you demystify um, such um, talks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those things do come and um, I get them as well mm -hmm. in, in some cases where I'll be like, ah, it's only men who mm -hmm. can probably deliver. I've walked into spaces, mm -hmm. high powered spaces mm -hmm. and just because of my gender mm -hmm. and my age, people self, so, you know, doubt you. They mm -hmm. will put two 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 together like what is she going yes, to say yes 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 but the most important thing is you believe in yourself believe in yourself yeah. believe in yourself you know what you want mm -hmm. you know who you are mm -hmm. and really mm -hmm. just focus on mm -hmm. on that mm -hmm. things just don't happen that's mm -hmm. the other thing that mm -hmm. i have mm -hmm. learned mm -hmm. everyone is sent somewhere mm -hmm. for an assignment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are in a particular family for a reason. Yes, yes, yes. You are get you 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 have you are opened into several spaces for reasons. Yes, yes. So it just doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. So when things you know when people are saying things like that, mm -hmm. always remember that you know it just didn't happen that mm -hmm. I'm here. I'm in this school mm -hmm. or I'm in this situation. Mm -hmm. This happened for me mm -hmm. to grow. Yes, it's taking me to the next step, step in life. Yes, yes. so yeah. everything just doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. has it all set out, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a firm believer that mm -hmm. God knows the end from mm -hmm. the beginning. Yes. yes so when yes. you are going through instances where mm -hmm. people are saying, "Oh no, maybe they are putting limitations mm -hmm. for you." Mm -hmm. Don't get those limitations. Mm. They are people. They are also having their own race. They mm. are running their own race. Mm. You run the race that God has given you. Mm -hmm. And don't self-doubt. Mm -hmm. Always remember that. That mm -hmm. I am unique. Mm -hmm. And I have a unique purpose that I have to deliver. I am mm -hmm. I'm, I'm also very cautious of people. Mm -hmm. Every time I meet someone, mm -hmm. I know there's a reason mm -hmm. that I have mm -hmm. met that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very important to be aware, you know, mm -hmm. be very spiritually aware yes, yes, of yes, yes, everything yes. that is happening around you. Mm -hmm. The people that you encounter, mm -hmm. some of them are your divine helpers. Yes, yes. Some of them are there to... To, to be with you in spaces where you are not there. Yes. They'll be able to say a good word about mm -hmm. you. That some will be able to carry you and handhold you in mm -hmm. situations that could be new to you. Mm -hmm. So it's always important. And as young girls, men will always come, they yes. will come, they'll try to distract you mm -hmm. from your from your, from your you know, from your goals. Mm -hmm. Um some intentionally, some mm -hmm. they don't do it intentionally. intentionally. Yes. But if you are focused and you know where you are going, mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. if you know that I have to go to Blanta, yes. hmm? mm -hmm. why settle for Ncheo? Ncheo. No, hmm? no, no, no. Why settle for Deza? 
let's mm-hmm. proceed on the way until we get to the time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so there are other people like maybe you've already talked about focus, you've said that you need to have faith. Mm-hmm. But where can somebody who is really in a destitute situation um in the rural areas of Malawi or in wherever mm-hmm. and they're in that situation they think that there is no hope. Mm-hmm. How can you advise them? How can they get that breakthrough? Where do they start from? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a very good question. Um, they are those people, and I have met some of them um, in, through my life. And what I would say to young women who are in, who pro- probably feel they are cut off from the society, mm-hmm. is that there will be a time mm-hmm. that the situation will change. Mm-hmm. Keep the focus. Mm-hmm. Don't just stay mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. You know, do what you can in that little space that mm-hmm. you have. Mm-hmm. There might be even others who probably have given up because they've probably gotten married or they have gotten mm-hmm. children at a young age. Mm-hmm. That should not sidetrack you mm-hmm. from your from your mission. Mm-hmm. Remember, if the first thing is this is where I want to go, mm-hmm. and then you set out plans of how do you get there. Mm-hmm. If you are in a very isolated place in Malawi, mm. which organizations are close to, to you? Mm. They, there is always something. It could be a school, it could be a hospital, mm. where there are people. Try to get to learn from those people. Mm. Mm-hmm. And it's from those people sometimes where help comes from. Yes, yes. People are there to help and, yes. and support mm. others. Mm. And in situations where they, you know, they they have really tried to mm-hmm. reach out to others, and they still no hope. Mm-hmm. They could use institutions that they attend church, mm-hmm. their churches that they go to. Mm-hmm. They could even go to like even sometimes the social service, the community mm-hmm. center. Mm-hmm. They could. Th- those are some of the platforms. So, yeah. the the most important thing is mm-hmm. to be focused. Mm-hmm know where, where you can get support. Yes, yeah. um, if things you are trying and they're still not working, mm-hmm. remember that things, uh, there's also that spiritual element mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. So always, mm-hmm. always ask God, mm-hmm. tell God, remind yeah. God exactly mm-hmm. that God, this is where I want to get as a young yes, girl yeah. in this isolated area. Yes, yes. And there will be that um, mm-hmm. platform. Yeah. And there are several organizations as mm-hmm. well. Maybe we can list some mm-hmm. uh, and under the, mm-hmm. the, this, yes. the description mm-hmm. where people can really access mm-hmm. that mentorship mm-hmm. um, and that coaching mm-hmm. to see that they could be moved from where they are mm-hmm. to where they would like to be. Like to be. We mm-hmm. all don't get where we are without the help of somebody. Mm-hmm. There have been people who have helped us. Wesley mm-hmm. has been one of those people <laughs> who has helped me. So uh, it's people like that who are sent our way mm-hmm. to help. And it's a chain. Yes. You help others, yes. then those who help the next. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I think it's all about um, having a social capital mm-hmm. and taking advantage of uh, the people whom you are, you've met in life. Mm-hmm being courteous to people, mm-hmm. being respectful to people. Mm-hmm. In, in so doing, yeah, you, you, you never know who will help you in life. Yeah, thanks so much, Chigondi. Um, oh, she's dropping some uh, nuggets of wisdom right here. It's so good. Um, yeah, Chigondi, you also talked about remembering who you are. Because sometimes people, they find their identity in other things. Mm-hmm. In other, they rely on um, the, to get their identity from other people. But you say they should remember who you are as a person, um, and you, you need to find your identity in yourself, knowing that you are worth mm-hmm. the person um, that you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you also talked about uh, doing this. Um, I think it's the Young Leaders. A fellowship yes. that you attended. Yes. How did you go about it? Uh, how can people access such opportunities, and how did it help you? Mm. Yes. Yeah, so the first, the first uh, fellowship I attended was the African Women in Agricultural Research and Development Award. Mm. So I got exposed to award through my then supervisor in university, and um, when I saw that. 
I immediately said I have to apply. You know that sense at the back of your head that this is for me. Mm -hmm. So I spent a whole week, mm -hmm. I remember, doing work, but then 80% of the time I was focused on this application, yes. putting everything I know mm -hmm. into that application. Mm -hmm. And um, and I was fortunate enough to be one of those people that uh, was selected to be mm -hmm. part of the program. Mm -hmm. It really exposed me to a lot. It was also my first trip outside Malawi yeah. where I got on a plane. Mm -hmm. I, 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 it was just amazing to meet all these African women scientists who mm -hmm. are doing so much for their communities mm -hmm. and myself being part of that community. Mm -hmm. So from there, um, I had I had mentorship support, mm -hmm. so I was taken through mentorship, mm -hmm. and then from there it was a springboard because after that I was then able to be mm -hmm. part of the Young African uh, mm -hmm. Leadership Initiative, the YALI, yes, yes, yes. and uh, meeting Michelle Obama, yeah. Barack wow, Obama wow, at wow. that time. Yes. It was just, it exposed me to a mm -hmm. lot and it also showed me the, the potential mm -hmm. that is out there. Out there, mm -hmm. yes, yes. It grew my networks. Mm -hmm. I met people within Malawi, mm -hmm. outside Malawi, that I wouldn't have met without mm -hmm. these opportunities. Mm -hmm. And there have been several of those fellowships that have been building on. Mm -hmm. And now also there are those opportunities where I know that I have a weakness in this area. Mm -hmm. So I will apply specific to address those areas. So you need to identify your weakness. What is my weakness and how can I uh, grow in this uh, mm -hmm. particular aspect of my life? Yes. So how does somebody access some, which platforms do you go to for you to find mm -hmm. those opportunities? So for me, as I've said, the first one, it was my supervisor who shared it with me. Mm -hmm. So it could be your supervisors mm -hmm. if, you, if you don't have access to internet. But for now, mm -hmm. I, ha I know, that, you know, you go on the website just to Google, yeah? Google, yeah. Just going to Google and yes. putting in like yeah. fellowship, for, mm -hmm. like, either if you are in science or art fellowship, you mm -hmm. put it in, mm -hmm. you find them, mm -hmm. then you apply, you find the ones that are legit. So you also need to know the ones that are fake yes, and the ones yes, that are legit. Yes, yes. And you uh, you start from there. Mm -hmm. So it just doesn't happen. You have to literally go looking and spend time in applying. Mm -hmm. Quality applications mm -hmm. will mean you you get um, you get yeah. access to those platforms. Mm -hmm. And you can even start with small networks. Mm -hmm. you, you know the applications that would happen at school, mm -hmm. some are part of um, uh, organizations like the environmental clubs, yeah, yeah. The, um, even homework clubs in some, in some schools, some, pri some mm -hmm. secondary schools. Mm -hmm. You start from there, you are building your network. network. Mm -hmm. For me, the first one was I want to build my scientific writing skills mm -hmm. and also build my network. Mm -hmm. And from there, I have been able to say, okay, mm -hmm. um, this is my roadmap. Yes. This is where I want to get. Mm -hmm. These are the steps that I need. So mm -hmm. I have put up the steps that I need to go through to get to that ultimate goal. So how did you improve those scientific writing skills? Uh, at that time I was working with the uh, with Luana now. Mm -hmm. By then it was Bunda. Mm -hmm. So when I was with, with, with Bunda, um, we were doing research. Mm -hmm. And it, it has even shaped my life up to now mm -hmm. because now I'm doing advocacy. Mm -hmm. And for us, advocacy is you're taking evidence yes. and saying policy has to change because mm -hmm. of this evidence. Mm -hmm. So I know good data mm -hmm. from data that is not reliable. Mm -hmm. So I am able to shape my mm -hmm. discussions mm -hmm. based on that. Yes. It has also helped me to do a lot of reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need yeah. to do a lot of reading, mm -hmm. uh, you need to do a lot of mm -hmm. search in um, journals, mm -hmm. whatever specific field you are in, mm -hmm. whether you are in finance, there are all these new things that are coming out, yes. whether you are in human resource, there are new articles coming out. Mm -hmm. For you to be relevant, mm -hmm. you need to be reading. Stay up to date. <laughs> yeah, stay up so to date. Uh, that, that's what I would say and um, yeah, having that network of women scientists, mm -hmm. African women scientists across mm -hmm. Africa, mm -hmm. it has also boosted me to say, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, they got there. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just like us. Yes. You yes, know, yeah. 
the only difference is they put in the work. Yes, they, they put, put in, in the effort. work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'd see that people from other countries, like the Western African mm -hmm. countries, they are found mm -hmm. really in those spaces exactly. when you go maybe international work. Mm -hmm. There are so many mm -hmm. of them, mm -hmm. but coming to us in our um, region, mm -hmm. so, so mm -hmm. like Malawians, I, I think maybe you can even count how mm -hmm. many of them mm -hmm. there are out there. Mm -hmm. I think just putting in a lot of work, as you said, you've talked about networking. <laughs> Uh, you've also talked about planning, mm -hmm. putting it down on paper so mm -hmm. that you are reminded mm -hmm. and uh, remembering who you are, your identity, don't rely on other people to tell you who you are, mm -hmm. you know yourself so much better. Mm -hmm. God has uh, made you to be uh, a very important person and you can achieve. Um, she talked about um, things don't just happen in life, you need to put some work there don't self-doubt mm -hmm. yeah and she also talked about uh, faith she said she's a woman of faith mm -hmm. so all these things combined they will make you into somebody who is gonna skyrocket in life so well i, I already said that uh we are going to get inspired by this lady we've got so many nuggets uh, of wisdom thank you so much chikondi maybe before conclusion i just want to ask you one question that um uh, on the uh, arena of uh, uh, the Malawi um, goals that have just been set in uh, Goal 2063. Mm -hmm. How do you think the youth should be engaged? Uh, in case somebody of a high profile will also listen to this, what are your thoughts on the engagement of the youth in this um, Malawi 2063 goal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Ezi. And before I answer, I would like to say again that. Uh, I am always inspired by you mm -hmm. and also the woman that you are. So and much. yeah, everyone who has access to Wes's channel is very blessed. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so um, on, on, on Vision 2063, mm -hmm. what I would say is I have had interactions with young people mm -hmm. um, in the past year. Yes. And um, basically they, they know Mm -hmm. what needs to change mm -hmm. they I have had interactions where some of what they would want to, to change really needs to fit into the goal the 2063 mm -hmm. so first of all is you sometimes don't wait to be invited mm -hmm. I even do this sometimes yes, sometimes yes. I'm not invited mm -hmm. into spaces I would just know that this is happening mm -hmm. and you just show up Okay. Sometimes it's just to listen, mm -hmm. you know, you mm -hmm. don't have to mm -hmm. say anything, mm -hmm. but the more you know, mm -hmm. the more you mm -hmm. are aware of what is happening and what steps to take. Knowledge yes. is power. Knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I've heard young people say, we are not invited mm -hmm. and the like, and you know, we as, as older people, we mm -hmm. really need to do better. Mm -hmm. But also as young people, mm -hmm. take that role, mm -hmm. you know, be proactive. Mm -hmm. If you know that there are things taking place at the district level, sometimes it's good to just go in and listen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you are there, then you contribute. Yeah. Share your views. Yes. Be part of that development. Mm -hmm. Be part of evaluation of projects. Yes. Yes. We yes. all want yes. a better Malawi. Yeah. We all want quality in all services that we access as Malawians. Yes. Yes. So we have to play a role by speaking mm -hmm. to how we deliver, um, but also contributing. Mm -hmm. So in however little way you can, if you sell if you sell potatoes, mm -hmm. if you sell mandasi, mm -hmm. you know, you are contributing to the economy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so everyone has a role. This mm -hmm. is not something that you just leave mm -hmm. for others to be discussing. Mm -hmm. When there are evaluations uh, taking place, mm -hmm. be part of those, mm -hmm. be part of the table. Mm -hmm. when, um, when there are spaces that you need to speak mm -hmm. out, take a chance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At if, if the only space you have is a church mm -hmm. or a school, yes. how active are you? How mm -hmm. are you contributing to the discussions that yes. are going on yes. there? Yeah. Um, we, we are in an era now where we say, okay, mm -hmm. this is the direction where we want to go. Mm -hmm. This is the part that I'm playing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that when you are taking people to task, you're also yes. able to share that this is what I have done. Mm -hmm. 
or this is what I am unable to do because of this, this and this. Mm -hmm. And when you point those issues out, mm -hmm. then they are able to be funded by government mm -hmm. and then we have the transformation that mm -hmm. we are looking for. Yeah. I am, I think by 2063, mm -hmm. God willing, we should be around yes, yes. and we should be able to see that mm -hmm. Malawi that has transformed yes. good road network mm -hmm good quality in all that we do mm -hmm. and the high caliber uh, yes. nation yes. where you know we have very intelligent minds in malawi i'm always amazed when i have yeah. conversations yeah. with people yeah. but sometimes because of this self-doubt mm -hmm. we are left out of conversations yes. yeah. Believe in yourself. I remember yeah. there was a time mm -hmm. I had a conversation with my coach in one of the programs mm -hmm. that I, I was in. Mm -hmm. And I was telling her, this time I think I was 21 mm -hmm. or 22 years old. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah, but sometimes maybe you might say something and it is wrong. And yes. she said, you know what? Say it. Mm -hmm. When it's wrong, you will know when you have said it. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. You, you don't have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Don't strive for perfection, but... Mm -hmm. Sometimes what you are holding on to mm. might just be that game-changing thing mm. that people want to hear. Yes. Mm. Oh, thanks so much. And we declare that for Malawi in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Like Amen. Like 2063, Amen. we need to be a transformed nation <clears throat> for the better of the, the country. And as they say that the youth are leaders of tomorrow, mm. that's what they say, isn't it? Mm. So, and they're leading today. Yeah, and well. they are also leading today. Mm -hmm. So you just have to know that take advantage of every space that has been created. Be proactive. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for allowances. Mm -hmm. Maybe you may say, oh, if I go to the district meetings, they, they won't give me allowances, so I don't want to go. Mm -hmm. Don't be motivated by that. Mm -hmm. Just for you participating, it is changing your life. It is giving you a lot of knowledge, and you'll be a transformed person. You'll be better, um, not no knowledgeable person, and you'll be useful. People will see you there. Be persistent, persistent, and persistent. People should see you. If you find a chance to speak, speak out. You speak out. Don't stop speaking out until the time that you are ahead. Mm -hmm. So. That's the message that I've got from Chigondi uh, today. So thanks so much, Chigondi. That was so, wow, so good, so wonderful. I hope that all the, uh, the, the viewers have been blessed as well. Yeah, thank so you. thank you so much. Thank you, Lizzie, for the opportunity. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to mm -hmm. listening more of your life nuggets as well. <laughs> <laughs> and another day where I can share more. Yeah. <laughs> And you know what, when you are talking about some, you know, some illegitimate, um, dubious um, opportunities that you find mm. in the, uh, on the website, mm. I think one time I had even, I think, given money to somebody because I never, they told me to transfer something on application. Yes. I made sure that I transferred that money mm -hmm. and ish, it was so tedious. Mm. You know, it was an other task just mm. to do all the requirements. Mm. They wanted us me to upload my CV, to upload so many things, mm. and I did. But at the end of the day, once I transferred the money, I didn't hear anything back from mm. them. <laughs> yeah, you better look out. <laughs> so just look out um, when you are uh, looking for uh, yeah. opportunities. And I think most of these legit ones, they don't ask you for money. No, mm. they don't. Mm. Yeah, you are right. Mm. They don't. <laughs> a lesson learned to me. I hope that has also been a lesson to somebody else. <laughs> Thank you so much, mm. guys. Um, don't forget to like this channel, to subscribe to this channel, and also to share it with your friends. Stay blessed.